I'm Jack Harrington, a principal full stack software engineer. And in this video, I'm gonna give you the five technology trends that I'm watching out for in 2022. So this is a tradition on this channel. I did it in 2020, we're doing it in 2021, and here we are in 2022. Let's get after it. So my number one technology trend that I'm watching out for in 2022 is AI coding tools. These would be things like GitHub's Copilot, Tab9, or the unit test writing pony code. To me, these are awesome extensions. I use GitHub Copilot all the time. I really enjoy it. I don't use the comment expansion feature that gives you an entire piece of code. I just kind of use it in line daily and it really accelerates my development. And I think if you have some fear about these tools, I would just try them out. You can download tab nine today. You can get on the waiting list for GitHub Copilot. Try it out for yourself. At least you'll know what's actually happening and maybe you'll get a tool that really helps you develop faster. The second thing that I'm looking out for in 2022 is the rise of lightweight frameworks. These would be things like Preact, Svelte, SolidJS. These are much more performant frameworks with a much smaller footprint. And I think you can see when you try it out for yourself why companies and individuals are interested in trying out and deploying these architectures in production. Of course, if you are a React developer, I might suggest trying out SolidJS. It's a slightly different feel to React, but it does feel a lot like React. So I think you'll be home there and I think you will feel a real sense of power from how much more performant SolidJS is. My number three technology trend that I'm looking out for in 2022 is what I'm calling classic web frameworks. Now, in particular, this would be Remix. So if you're used to working with something like Next.js, where you fall into a pattern of using, say, REST and GraphQL to go get data to and from the server, this is gonna feel very different to you because this is a more traditional form post style methodology, which is actually really performant. And if you haven't tried it out yet, I think it'd be an interesting addition to your skill set to at least understand how we did things back in the day and maybe see that it's an advantage today. My number four technology trend for 2022 is WebAssembly or WASM. So last year, Microsoft came out with the Blazor framework, which is a UI framework, but built using WebAssembly. It is incredibly fast and people are really enjoying that. And now we're seeing the rise of WASM throughout the whole ecosystem, including tools embedded within the browser. So I put in a link to StackBlitz where you can literally run Next.js right in the browser. And it is so cool. It's actually faster than running it on my local machine. And that's because in the case of the browser, it's actually running in a virtual RAM disk, whereas on my desktop, it's actually running on my SSD. So it is slightly faster in the browser than on my desktop. It's fascinating stuff. I can't wait to see where WebAssembly goes in 2022. And I think you should keep an eye on it as well. My number five pick for 2022 are headless UI libraries. These are things like Tanner Lindsley's React Table and the headless UI library that comes with Tailwind, what they've essentially done is abstract the logic from a component from its rendering cycle. So you can render that component in any framework and then just use the underlying logic to manage that state. It's really cool. And I think it's an interesting way of factoring our component libraries going forward. Of course, that's just my top five for 2022. I can't wait to hear from you in the comments section down below as to what you are interested in in 2022 and what you are keeping an eye on. And of course, in the meantime, if you like the video, just hit that like button. If you really like the video, hit the subscribe button and click on that bell and you'll be notified the next time a new blue collar coder comes out.